Hi, so I was recently asked this, and it is, I want to become a night auditor at a hotel, but I'm not sure if it's the right fit for me. Can you please describe what you do as a night auditor? So a night audit position is an easy position. Um, a night auditor at a hotel is you're pretty much closing end of day and starting a new day all in the system um, you do get a lot of free time during your shift so it does get pretty boring what I mean by that is four to five hours of your shift is very boring um, as soon as you get done with phase one of two of your packet which gets completed within an hour and a half you have a little bit of time to relax, watch a movie, play video games until you have to do night audit. And that's the second phase. Uh, when you do night audit, that only takes about an hour to do. So, and then once you complete night audit, you got the rest of your shift to really just do whatever. Um, there are a couple of other things though that you will have to do during your shift, which is counting the drawer, as well as making coffee. Um, which, if you're a coffee lover, well guess what? You can make coffee and you can drink coffee anytime um, through your shift. Uh, so I'm gonna walk through what I do with my shift so you can get an idea of okay this is something that i want to do or if it seems like this isn't something that you don't want to do then and i do have people that are going to be checking out this morning so if you hear me checking somebody out um then you'll be able to hear that process too um the first thing that i do is i come in and before the shift before me leaves i ask that person hey what happened um is there anything that i need to know is there anything that i need to do through my overnight shift if the person says no then okay cool if the person says yes then i'll take care of that usually it's something simple like oh you have to do this in the system um, you have to do a different rate for this person or you have to set um, like a wake-up call which is easy um, all that is very simple so the second thing I do is I begin counting the drawer now our set is 250 so if we are over in our drawer, the money that is over, I have to put in the envelope, uh, put NA for night audit, the date that I did this, and then I just drop it in the cash box. Um, and I will do that throughout the night too, because I have to do it three times. Um, if somebody buys from the market and they want to pay cash then I won't drop that cash until I do the next uh, drawer count um, but I do three times the first time during the beginning of the shift the second time after I do audit and then the third time before I leave at the end of my shift um, so that's how I do that now this is a checklist this checklist i do on a daily basis and has to be done a uh, checklist is super easy super simple and it helps you navigate through the computer um, if you have computer skills and customer service skills then you are good if you don't have computer skills it'll take you a little bit longer to learn it but hey 
once you learn it, you'll be all set. Um, training is two weeks. Sometimes it's a week, but most of the time it's two weeks. Um, if you don't feel comfortable being alone, definitely let your manager know so they can get somebody um, to continue training you. Um, speaking of, yes, you are going to be alone during night audit. Um, so you won't have anybody with you through the overnight. After your training is done, you're on your own. Um, so after this, the third thing that I do is I look up the occupancy and the rate. Because through the overnight, you will get calls that are like, hey, what is the rate in your occupancy? So our occupancy is the percentage of who's in-house. So I have 61% that's in-house and the rest are still open. The rate is 109. I look at the rate by creating a new reservation and then I'm able to see what the new rate is. Um, after that, I check all that off, and then I also look at the arrivals. How many arrivals do I have left uh, that I would have to check in? I had three arrivals, and I have zero departures. Um, night audit, you should never have any departures. If you do have a departure um, that hasn't even departed, you would need to find out why that it hasn't been departure because they're basically being paid for an, or they're basically spending for another night um, so definitely have to keep a close eye on that but uh, during your training definitely ask for that um, it will likely never happen but it's very rare um, vacant and ready rooms you can also see on there as well it's a display of all that after i get that done then i just go through my checklist um, there's two phases of the checklist the first phase is just getting everything done um, in night audit uh, before you process the night audit so when you process the night audit um, that will be in phase two and it's easy it's very simple um, so the checklist when you're done with the checklist you do get free time so it only takes an hour and a half to complete your first checklist um, and you will have a couple to a few hours before you have to do night audit um, so you'll be able to play games you'll be able to watch a movie watch YouTube videos until you do night audit now when you do night audit uh, it's very simple you put in a tape uh, to record the day uh, because you're you're closing out the day so when you close out the day you're putting in the tape and you're putting in all the data from the system onto that tape then once you're done with that then you process the next night audit which is closing the end of day and opening the new day once you complete that there's a few more things that you have to do uh, on the checklist. And then after that, you're pretty much all set. Definitely make sure though that you definitely um, count the drawer uh, after night audit. And then after that, you're free again. You can do whatever you want. Now you can do whatever you want until I'd say about 5.30. Uh, 5.30, you get up, you make coffee, 
and then after coffee, you come back and you just have more free time. So if you have like college stuff, if you have um, hobbies or something, feel free to, you know, get your schoolwork done, do whatever it is that you want to do, watch movies, play games, so on and so forth. Um, other than that, five to six hours of your shift is nothing but free time. All you're basically doing is doing the packet, counting the drawer, which should take only five minutes, and doing coffee, which should take about 10 minutes. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Also, night audit. When you're doing night audit, that takes about an hour. So, other than that, that is all I have as a night auditor. Um, it is very simple, very easy. Um, if you have computer skills, like I said, definitely helps out a lot. Customer service skills, you'll pretty much have to have. Um, if you don't, it, it's kind of unlikely that you would actually get the job. Um, you don't need really, you don't really need a whole bunch of qualifications to become a night auditor. Um, but definitely have customer service skills. Um, because if you don't have any computer skills, that's fine. But if you do have both, that's also good. Um, so with that, that's pretty much all I have. And thank you so much for watching. Another thing too that you would have to do is make reservations. And making reservations is somewhat difficult, but once you get to do it a few times and trained, then you'll be able to know how to do it. Um, it did take me a little bit to know how to do reservations, but when I knew how, after that, I was pretty much all set and sail from there. Um, you will have to also answer phone calls which is another thing as well as through the overnight, like I said, you will um, receive phone calls and it would be simple questions like, hey, I'm in room so-and-so and I would like uh, bath towels. And so you would get it set up and uh, have it up at the desk. Some managers will allow you to go up uh, to the room but some managers won't so they would have to come down to grab it um far than that that's pretty much it and making reservations is easy um and getting reservations from online and they're already checked in mobily that's excellent too it's easy process and you don't really have to do much with that either. So that's good. And I hope that I answered your questions that you have. If you have any more questions, feel free to let me know and I will definitely uh, add the, those videos with the questions.